reason for the swap in the program was that, well, I was, I'm a professional procrastinator, <laughs> and um, the best ideas come in the very last moment. So. Um, I know that there are people from chapters here. Uh, how many are the user groups? And those who are, okay, so there are. <laughs> I have my audience. Because this presentation is made from the point of view of a user group, um, um, it uh, should be applicable to um, individual um, grantees as well. Um, and um, but, but, well, those of you who have your professional accountants in your organizations probably <coughs> Uh, maybe you will also learn something because otherwise you are not doing this work by yourself. Uh, short outline, why is reporting, uh, what is reporting and why is it needed? Uh, more about shared bank accounts. Um, I guess that all of the user groups here have, but is there a user group member here who, where you don't have a um, shared bank account? Well, maybe I can skip this. Um, because you already have... So what does it mean shared? Um, shared? This is a bank account, uh, which is uh, <coughs> by, by the requirement of Wikimedia Foundation has to be shared at least by two people. Oh, we have them? Uh, you have them? Yes. Okay. Uh, maybe um, the only interesting <laughs> point in this will be if you are in a situation to, to close it, uh, what to do? Well, I <laughs> we have first-hand experience in this as well. Uh, reporting documents, um, reporting time frame and common problems and mistakes, uh, non-exclusive list. I guess that it can be <laughs> um, completed. Um, so what are reports and why they are needed? Um, a good report is always complete and uh, self-explanatory document, so it, it has to speak for itself. Um, it is not supposed to um, uh, well, once you submit a report, um, well, in general, you're not supposed to add new things. So you have to cre create in a way that it tells everything that needs to be said about uh, your work, uh, about your project. Of course, it very much depends. Uh, Media Foundation is very flexible. But in general, when you create your report, you have to think about to, ex to, to include everything that needs to be said and everything that supports the data which you provide, meaning the, the figures, the, the budget uh, expenditures. Well, mostly I'm going to speak about financial reporting. From time to time there will be reference to activity reporting, but um, I decided to concentrate on this mainly because it's the more tricky thing. Um, and uh, also about the statements made about the project implementation and outcome and, and the successes. Uh, and ideally, it should describe not only activities, but also uh, the motivation, the rationales, why, uh, why there are uh, such activities have been performed, uh, why some decisions were taken um, ad hoc during the um, project implementation, especially if they are not designed in the project proposal. So everything that happens um, uh, like a problem and you need to react on it in real time, uh, which was not designed <laughs> to happen, uh, you need to provide your motivation of your solution, of your decisions. And uh, ideally it should uh, show not only the final product, so what was um, created during this, this project, what was uh, fulfilled, uh, but also the process involved. And uh, what are the, the, the benefits for the whole community. So. Um, very often, the well, this is the most reporting is the most tedious, uh, unpleasant part of a project. But in the same time, it is <laughs> also maybe one one which is most needed. Um, it usually we consider that it is important for those who give us the money, uh, because in this way um, the sponsor can uh, first evaluate the eligibility and appropriateness of our expenditures, so to see whether we have, expend we have made spendings the way we were supposed to do that why, uh, when, when we were given the, 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 the money. And also the sponsor is also interested to collect information about the um, uh, impact which is uh, created with the usage of this money. So usually we consider uh, on our uh, on the side of um, 
um, being sponsored, we, we consider that reporting is information, uh, is information and uh, an important and um, mainly needed for the sponsor. But the truth is that very often reports um, help us to um, design our future um, actions, our future decisions and policies. So uh, on the basis of good reports, well-prepared reports doesn't mean to report only positive outcomes. It very often requires you to, to report on your mistakes, uh, on the problems which you faced and how you deal with them. Um, and it is in this way helpful for the beneficiaries. Uh, and maybe even more helpful for the beneficiaries than for the sponsor because it is a way to um, make analysis. Sometimes uh, we call it post-mortem analysis. So after the end of the project, uh, what happened, why it happened this way, uh, how can we learn from mistakes, how can we learn from good outcomes. So it is actually very, very helpful. And if this is the way we consider and we think about reporting, um, this is not going to be so, so tedious of a job. Um, we have to analyze various aspects, uh, including strengths, weaknesses, uh, things which usually, if we are to prepare a business project, these are things which we have to project in the beginning. So, uh, you know, SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, um, sometimes as volunteers, uh, as um, um, in, our, in this capacity of ours, we, we do it post mortem, we do it in the reporting phase, but it's also important for the next project which we would like to apply for. Um, and this uh, measure of success, of ma maturity uh, of, of the user group. So, um, yeah. in a way, this is more important for us than for the Wikimedia Foundation. So, an important question always is who does the reporting, or in other wo <laughs> words, who has <laughs> drawn the shortest straw? Um, <laughs> if I had a bit more time, maybe I would find or produce some <laughs> um, freely licensed image here. <laughs> but you know, you know about the shortest straw when uh, we have a number of straws and they are visibly equal, but one of them is short, so the unlucky one <laughs> takes the draws the shortest one. So um, this should be an internal decision. In the, within the team, uh, but it should be taken explicitly. So it should not be like we all know that there is a usual suspect who is supposed to do the, the, the project reporting in the end. So, um, in the best case, you, the, the usual suspect will know that he is the usual suspect, he or she. Uh, and this should be done before the end of the, of the project implementation, so before the start of the project reporting or ideally in the very beginning of the project, and you will see after a couple of slides why. Um, so ideally all members should, of the team, the project team should also be feel welcome to contribute, and um, um, not only to contribute, but also to have their supervision, um, supervising functions. Um, this, this probably makes the job a bit more interesting if you are to uh, look for the mistakes of the others. But the truth is that this is the, well, team, team building, the team working in this uh, situation, it, it requires more, more eyes, uh, more, more people to, to be involved. Well, while everybody in the project team is supposed to help, uh, there are people who have to. And these are the project contact persons, uh, together with the shared bank account holders. For user groups, these are the people who are able to um, practically operate the budgets. So even if they are not part part of the core team, they should be involved in the in the whole project every time because they are those through whom uh, money are are flowing. Um, and also, um, all the project reporting is going to be done in a way that enough time is left in the end after after we have the project report ready to have a bit more time for discussing, for editing it, for especially if there were some conflicts, some um, problems that were faced during the, the project that had to be uh, solved, uh, especially if there were some um, interpersonal project problems, um, you really have to um, present um, a report which has been agree agreed upon 
Uh, so all project members in the end are well happy or satisfied with with the report because sometimes this may also and the fact that I'm saying it means that we had a situation when we did not agree completely on the contents of the report and it was strange because there was enough time for all the people to react and some people did not do it on time but again it's good always to schedule your report in a way that you provide enough time for everybody to have their um, um, contribution and input. So I understand that um, <coughs> most of you or all of you um, know about the shared bank accounts and how how to um, set um, to, to establish one. Um, just just I would like to make a small remark that. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> on Meta there are no official instructions, so uh, some of the information you, you can get from contacting WMF staff, uh, some of the information you have to learn the hard way. <laughs> um, I guess that the reason that there are no such uh, official instructions uh, on how to establish um, a shared bank account is that in every country probably there are specifics and there are no two banks in the same country that would offer the same uh, terms of use and uh, the same conditions, so it's very, very specific and research needs to be done in advance before you decide which bank uh, and what exactly if there are some... Uh, actually, there is one very big thing about um, establishing a shared bank account, that it is uh, two or more people. Usually, um, for instance, I, I will tell you in Bulgaria, if they're non-related, like they're not relatives in the same family, they can be only two. If they are relatives, they can be five, up to five, but this is for other situations, not, not, not ours. Uh, so it is very important to decide, and this is a decision that um, usually is taken between the, these two people, but also may, might be formed as a community decision, whether each of them can operate the account separately or they always have to go together. And it very much depends whether physically these people are in the same place, in the same town, in the same country even, which was our case. Um, and the other, I was one of the um, uh, account holders, the other one did not live in Bulgaria. So in this moment, operating the um, shared bank account is challenging. So depending on who was selected by, by the community to, uh, to be representative of the, of the bank account, to be bank account holder, um, they have to decide on flexible rules on operating it. Um, so about the um, research, another important, uh, other important issues are of course bank charges, of course, um, terms of use, if there are um, primary, secondary holder, uh, or they are equal in their rights. And imagine that we speak not only about cash withdrawal or um, ordering bank, bank payments, but even about things like changing the password. We had this, that the second um, bank account holder was not able to change his own um, password the moment he forgot it, <laughs> uh, because, uh, and this was not explicitly written in the, in the rules. It took some time and research for the bank officials to, to understand actually that <laughs> this um, we are not with equal rights. And also it also happened that while we go together to establish the bank account, only, only one, the primary account holder, is able to close it. This is also one thing which you need to know in advance or to, to learn in some moment uh, in order to know in case that this needs to be closed, how to operate it. Also, uh, a question is about, um, is there a pl plastic card associated with the bank account? Because it very much helps um, to, to proceed with, with a lot of payments, which otherwise you need to go to the bank, wait on a queue, complete some documents. So it, it is about time consumption. Uh, also, active passive online banking, something which at least in Bulgaria, it, um, it is so specific to have shared bank account that you cannot have o uh, active online banking. You can only check what is happening with your bank account, but not practically <laughs> order, uh, order bank payments through it. So another thing which we, you need to know in advance before you um, decide. And yes, terms of closing. 
uh, not the, the happiest slide, but um, the one which will be, <laughs> but uh, yeah, very important also. So this I'm going to skip. Uh, maybe the most important, why two or more people need to be? What is the motivation of the Wikimedia Foundation? The obvious explanation is that both people need to help each other. Since we are volunteers, we speak about user group here, um, we, we need to um, provide some interchangeability, some flexibility. Not always one is able to uh, offer this service, so sometimes the other has to, uh, to do the job. Uh, but the not so obvious explanation is that the two people need to control each other. So um, this ensures transparency, um, building trust in the relations between these two people, between the, them and the local community, and between them and the Wikimedia Foundation. So even if you do not regularly monitor what the other person is doing, sometimes you will find out that it's, it's useful to have these controlling functions. So um, this is also experience born from the, well, this is bad experience, but um, again, one which it's good to take into consideration. So operating, again, one thing which probably I don't need to explicitly vocalize here, except maybe um, uh, the timely contact when, uh, when it is necessary. So um, we sometimes <coughs> think that um, it's better to try to solve a problem and, and keep it private as, as long as possible, but sometimes timely contacting the official who is representative of the Wikimedia Foundation for our project is, is probably the better, um, the better solution. Whenever it comes to issues with the deadlines, you are not able to meet the deadline for some reason, if there is some problem with the budget or team issues. Um, and yeah, the not so happy slide about the, the closing. Uh, sometimes for whatever reason, good or bad, the good reason may be because you're turning into a chapter. So you need to close the uh, users, uh, user groups um, bank account. So the reason may be quite good actually. Uh, so we need to close it. But before closing bank account, one thing which from what I understand you haven't done, First, you need to empty it, so there must be no money inside. In order to do it, because <coughs> the bank cannot close a um, bank account in which there is even one penny. <laughs> so in order to do this, um, you have to return all the um, remainders of grants um, to the WMF, which means withdraw the money or um, order the last uh, payment. And in order to do this, you need to have all your current grants completed, reported, and to have approval of these reports. Uh, this was one thing which happened with us. Um, the desire to, to, to have the bank account closed came before we had even some of the re um, projects finalized and reported and approved. So these are the, this is the, the, the logical line you have to in order to have the close uh, the uh, account closed, you first have to finish all your projects, to have all the reports written, submitted, and approved, um, and then backwards. Um, and again, the good practice is to do some postmortem analysis, and before you elect the next representative of um, of this bank account, if this is the case, for instance, uh, it's good to have analysis for the reasons why. Why, why you had this situation, why you had to close it, and how to do better in the future. Um, some basics about reporting documents. So the logic of the process is that whenever uh, we exchange money for goods and services, um, so we, we, we exchange money, uh, we give the money, we receive some goods or services which are needed for our project, for instance, catering for the, um, our national conference. The missing, what is the missing point here? The missing point is that we need documentation and it runs in both directions. Um, it looks quite obvious now, but there are so many mistakes that can be made <laughs> in this, in uh, requesting and receiving and working with the documents that you cannot even imagine. <laughs> well, maybe you can. So we have different types of payments. 
when we are a user group, I guess that there are some specifics uh, also. Uh, but we have um, mainly cash payments and uh, bank, bank or wire transfers. And of course, card payments in case that it is available. Or if a volunteer or some project member makes such a payment and then gets reimbursed from the project budget. Uh, and we have different types of documents, and there will be a slide with a um, very detailed analysis of the differences between these. I guess that most of you know what is the difference between each of them, but, well, maybe there are some important things that some people do not know, and the way I'm presenting it and um, differentiating maybe will be helpful. Um, and the chronology of the process. Very often, uh, payment and uh, delivery of goods and services and documentation happen at the same time. <coughs> so you go to the shop, buy, um, for instance, um, pens uh, and pencils and notes for the um, uh, notebooks for the national conference. You receive them, you get the receipt or and or <coughs> invoice. Um, but there are also, also situations where um, payment and delivery are not in the same moment. Most in, more interesting and more important is to discuss the moment when we first make the payment and then get the um, goods uh, or services. So there is some time before uh, between these two moments. And this is a moment when you have made payment and you still haven't received um, what you need. Uh, and this means that in both moments we need to have the respective documents. So do not make any operation which does not feel, uh, complete with, with, with the document which you receive. Um, it is also important for the supplier, but more important for you. It's more important for you to have um, um, documents for each of these. Um, yeah. Specifics. Um, when you, when you make some form of payment, there are obligatory and there are optional things you can take as a document. Um, invoice is always a good idea. Um, practical advice about invoices, you know about performance. Uh, whenever possible, take a performer. Well, let me first explain about invoices. Uh, invoices are especially needed when the cash uh, receipts do not contain information about the items or the quantities purchased. Sometimes you do not see the exact name of the good or the service. You see like some internal code uh, which in the, in the supplier system stays for something which is, which is not obvious. So for the reporting purposes it's good to have um, a document which explicitly states the items and the quantities. And also, invoices contain identification of the buyer. And in this way, um, this is a more solid proof of uh, the payment which you, uh, you, you have made. Um, sometimes may, you, you may need to take a performa. Performa is um, not a reporting document. It's important to... to uh, if, you, if you have made the payment, you have to insist on the original invoice. But the good thing is that you can use performa as... Um, uh, price offer, so as a quote, um, which is good in cases when um, prices can be volatile over time. So if you pay uh, the performer within a specific period, then you can guarantee a given price, which may in the future raise. So this is the good thing about performance. Some specifics, um, differentiating between these four very um, regular types of, of documents which we use in, in our practice of user groups. So um, they, differ, they differ in terms of um, the type of expenditure, uh, the identification of the buyer, um, of the uh, identification of the item and quality. Um, they also differ in terms of what accompanying documents will be needed. For instance, you cannot just have an invoice. You always need to have an invoice plus um, either cash receipt or bank payment order because uh, this is the um, proof on both sides that the payment was made and the um, goods was delivered. So just an invoice is never working. And 
if you if you ask whoever professional accountant about this, they will confirm. And also, there are some specifics regarding Sorry, the. Uh, you are very short of time, so. Uh, we also, if you remember, we also entered in my time, started yeah, a bit yeah, later. That's, that's, uh, so we have time and reporting related specifics as well. Uh, so this is especially. Uh, the tour will start, so, uh, okay. But, uh, no, we, we can simply see. we can simply go to the last slide. Would you like? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.